The last thing that you're going to want to really include is sort of some value. So you're going to want to use your pencil to make your darkest values as dark as it gets, this way. And what I don't want to see are what I call scratchy lines. I don't want to see those lines showing. So you're going to need to take your time and move a little bit slower with this. And with pencils, the harder you press, the darker your line is, and the lighter you press, the lighter your line is. I should see all these different shades of gray from all the way to 100% black. Black is night. All the way to completely white. Even if you have a white shoe or a black shoe, you should have both black and white in there. And you can blend just a little bit with your finger if you want, but don't get too overboard with it because it can get a little bit messy. Don't just assume also that you know where highlights and shadows are. You really need to look at your shoe and see if you see highlights. And highlights are sometimes easier to see if you sort of squint or bring your, your eye out of focus. But if you see a line, anywhere you see a line on a shoe, the line is there because either one side or the other of that line is darker. So right here, this isn't really a line. This is just where the light or dark changes. So you see how I can get rid of that line just by filling in the area next to it with a darker value? Value in art just means light or dark of a color. And you can do this. So if you're sitting there saying to yourself, I can't do that, yes you can. Just keep adding value until you don't see lines anymore and check it against what you see on your shoe. And it does take time. And sometimes, once you've got a little bit of value down, you can go back and erase out some of your highlights. And that's the really thing about working with pencils and graphite, is that just because you put something down doesn't mean it's permanent. At least not in Art 1. So now that I've got a little bit of value that I'm starting to work in there, and this is just one spot, and you saw it only took a couple of minutes, I'm giving you a few days on this project so that shouldn't be too terrible. If I look in here and anywhere that I see a, a highlight, um, it's hard to tell in this, this picture or this camera, but there's a little bit of a highlight right here. And you'll see most of your highlights where things extend out furthest towards you. So for me, that'd be right here. Then to help push the fact that this is further back, things that are closer to you will typically seem lighter and things that are further back will have a tendency to be a little bit darker. So next to this, I'm gonna put in a dark value for that part of the leather. And pushing this to dark will help this to come forward. And this takes some practice, so don't be, don't be fooled. It's not easy right away. You have to try at it. But the more you try and the harder you try, the easier it will become. It gets better. See how pushing this dark made this come forward? We can add a little bit of a shadow here on the side. So your darks will recede and your lights will come forward. Just like that. So then you'll finish it off in that same fashion.